Well, I think we've had a really good start to the year. We've seen kind of revenue growth over 4%, margin growth 50 basis points, and that's led to double digit EPS growth of 12%. And we've declared a half fund uh, dividend of 9.7% up on last year. Yeah, the markets vary, to be honest. If you look at GB and Ireland, um, both markets are in good growth, both volume and value. If you look at France, it's a little bit more subdued than that. Um, and then our last market will be Brazil, where conditions have, have been really tough in the first half of the year, which kind of reflects the kind of macro conditions in Brazil. Our strategy around the soft drinks levy is really clear. Uh, we've passed the levy on in full on the products that it applies to. So if you go into a supermarket in the UK at the moment, you will see Pepsi at different price for regular versus Pepsi Max. Um, we think that's the right approach because we think consumers like transparency. They like to be able to make a choice um, when companies kind of shrink pack sizes and kind of leave prices the same. I think people sometimes feel maybe they're being cheated by that. So that's the approach we've gone for. And we do believe that consumers, if they do switch, that they are more likely to switch to our products than anyone else's. Sure. In terms of our kind of brands in the UK, so Pepsi Max has had a really strong start to the year. So we go into the sugar levy world with some real momentum. Um, our own brand, Robinsons, which is a kind of key UK grocery brand, is actually back into revenue growth this year, given the launches of our new ranges and Robinsons refreshed last year. So we're really pleased with that. Likewise, in Ireland, our low no sugar products are doing very well and seen a very strong performance on that. And in, in other markets, we're seeing great performances from brands such as Pressard in France. I think in terms of remaining competitive in the market, I mean, I think a big part of soft drinks is innovation. So making sure that you bring products to market that meet consumer needs. So you would have seen over the years that we've taken sugar out of our products. We didn't have to knee jerk to the sugar tax coming to the market. We'd already reformulated because that's where the consumer trend has been going for a number of years. Robinson's Refresh is a great example of a new product that's kind of all natural, no artificials. And that's kind of where consumers are kind of headed, more natural, um, better for you type products. Also premium products. So London Essence Company would be a great example of a product that we've launched into the on-trade that plays into the kind of premium mixed market. Yeah, so we're in the final year of a 240 million uh, capital spend in our GB business. What that does for Britvig is it gives us a platform that's going to fit for the future. It gives us more capacity, more flexibility, lower cost, and there are environment, environmental benefits behind that as well. So you would have seen from our half year uh, results that we're already seeing some of those cost and commercial benefits come through um, as we get into sort of 2019 and then 2020, we'll fully realise all those benefits.